Hey guys, it's Alex Pierce. Today I'm going to show you how to set up an HDR in Octane for Blender. This is the basic setup. If you want to just pause it here, you can basically see what we're going to do. And I'll go ahead and start. So, I'm just going to delete everything. So, Alt X. And just so you know where we're at, we, we have nothing here in the scene. It's all set up already. I'm not going to go over that. I'll go to full screen in my world here. Do Shift A, output, world output. We'll need that. And then I'm going to bring in an HDR. I'm just going to pick one and drag it in. And as long as you're in the Octane render engine, it should bring it in okay. If you're in, if it looks, if it doesn't look gray like this, just switch to Octane and then bring it in. Now we can't just, this is yellow, we can't go to green. So we do Shift A. Let me come over here so you can see it. Shift A, Octane Environment, Texture Environment, or you can always just search Texture Environment. So now we connect Out Text to Texture, Out Environment to Environment, and then I like to do uh, to be able to rotate it. You can do a full transform straight into the transform. This does work, but the better way to do it is to do spherical projection and then plug in your full transform into the sphere transform and then you can rotate it uh, with degrees and I'll show you that here in a minute. Now the last thing you need to do is your gamma should be set to 1 and this should work for pretty much everything. Now if you need to change the power you can change it here but gamma is pretty much always going to want to be 1 and the other thing you might need to change is if you want a 32-bit, if your HDR is 32-bit, you might need to change this, or you can also just set it to automatic. So now on our full transform, if we rotate the Y, it'll rotate the world. So we could rotate our whole world by using the Y on the full transform. And I believe it's in degrees, so if you do 180, it'll jump 180 and you can you can change it here as well if you need to you want to do something a little creative here but that's the basic setup I'll go ahead and load a different HDR here that I already have in my scene now you can also change the power so if you need, want to make this brighter you can make it brighter here or you can change it here and then if you go into your render tab and then you come down you can check alpha channel if you don't want to see the environment but you want the lighting information from the environment alright hopefully this was helpful take care